Weighing over 3,400 pounds, the destruction a torpedo could cause is massive. Aircraft carriers are called cities on the ocean for some definitive reasons. Protecting them is of primary importance. This is where the advanced defense technologies and supreme strategies to safeguard comes into play. But how do these technologies work and how well do they sink in with the existing defense strategies? Today's video is all about the torpedoes and the technology behind it that makes them one of the most feared defense systems in the world. Speaking of the destroyers in the US Navy that they have, there are a few that have proven to be the most versatile amongst all. The destroyers, as the name suggests, needs to be capable enough to take the enemy down under any circumstances. This means that a few of their major capabilities must include the ability of being fast, lethal over a distance, and the ability to travel long distances in the shortest duration of time. Now, as mentioned earlier, the destroyers are majorly used as escorts for the bigger aircraft carriers. This being the case, they need to make sure that the primary ship is being protected from all forms of danger on the sea. The torpedoes are one of the greatest technologies that they have on board that help them to take the enemy down from a very far distance in the most discreet fashion. The greatest advancement of having one of them is the fact that they can make a strong impact from under the enemy ship. This direct impact on the hull of the ship makes sure that there is a certain breach on the surface of the ship, leading to the enemy ship sinking and incapacitating them from defending themselves for a long time. These torpedoes travel with their own power and were designed to do so back in the early 1900s. They can even be steered for precise targeting. An equipment as dangerous as this needs to be fully understood, for which there are regular training exercises through the use of dummy torpedoes, which do not contain any forms of explosives in it. This is when the crew realize the range these torpedoes have and the kind of impact they can make during a war. However, one of the greatest issues here is the fact that these torpedoes need to be retrieved after practice, which in many cases could turn into manual labor, even over long distances. Many a times, the size of these torpedoes could run over 19 feet. This means that manually retrieving them is a very effortful job, taking hours or days, depending on where the torpedoes are stuck after practice. They may cost over 4 million, which gives the Navy another reason to make sure they retrieve them. Torpedoes have found a better use case in submarines. The reasons are quite obvious. The fact that submarines travel under the water make it easy for them to launch torpedoes in a more efficient and more discreet manner. But this does not restrict them from making use of the surface-to-air missiles, which is, as a matter of fact, specialization of certain submarines these days. Though it costs them a lot to conduct these exercises, it is very important in order for them to be battle-ready at any given point in time. Though it costs them a lot, a greater benefit in this case is that these ships that they sink during practice end up being an artificial habitat for all kinds of sea life. The ships may also use torpedoes against the submarines, and there are some special torpedoes designed specifically to deal with the tougher submarines under the sea. Anti-submarine warfare is one of the most important features that modern naval ships boast of. The threat these days from submarines is too extensive to not be looked over. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union maintained hundreds of submarines to sink the US aircraft carriers as an attempt to get rid of the supply route between Europe and North America. This is when the anti-submarine technology started to emerge as the need of the hour. All of the destroyers were then added with additional abilities to hunt these submarines down in an attempt to protect the aircraft carrier in the best possible extent. One of the best examples here was the Mark 32, triple torpedo tube launcher. This helped the Navy to prevent destructions coming in from the submarines to a great extent. Each of these three tubes made of high-quality fiberglass, reinforced polyester resin, were swiveled on a mount which was locked up with MK-46 Mod 5S, a missile strong enough to take these submarines down in a single shot. These were placed at the sides of the ships, which could be used for a variety of purposes during warfare. Now, as soon as it is given the command to launch, compressed air bursts in open into water. The torpedo then takes over the job and propels itself to the target assigned to it. The launch can be completed either remotely from the deck or from the MK-32 launch console directly, making it much more flexible. Since this is one of the lightweight technologies, it was a great breakthrough in the defense technology with the total length of the torpedo maxing out at just 8.5 feet. Though short, it has a 99-pound explosive warhead stuffed into it, making it extremely lethal for any target towards which it has been fired upon. The target it has is limited to destroying the stable pressure inside the submarine. This will force the submarine to pop out of the water. 
The matter from here can be dealt with by the other defense mechanisms which the targeting ship has. Now let us have a closer look at what happens under the ocean once it is launched. As soon as it is launched, a torpedo starts circling around looking for its target at a slow speed to make sure that it remains undetected. Once the target is recognized, the torpedo zeroes in on them and shows no mercy. Such a torpedo can travel with a speed of 45 knots, which is reportedly higher than any submarine that has been made till date. It can travel for a distance of 12,000 yards, which is far enough for the ship to remain safe, but still fire upon the submarine once spotted. It can also dive as deep as 1,500 feet under the ocean. This adds on to the discrete destructive capabilities it comes with. Generally, the ships come with two torpedo launchers, one each on the starboard side and the port side. This means that each ship has a total of six torpedoes waiting for the trigger to be pulled and an enemy be set. The precision this equipment provides is one of the major reasons why we think they are with a mention here on this channel. On the other hand, the fact that they can be used with multiple use cases is another milestone that the defense technology has achieved over years. The United States has constantly been trying to develop their technology better to break all barriers that currently stand in the way. We are certain that this time we will see effective utilization of this technology, reduction of carbon footprints, and more importantly, ethical use in as much as it deals with eliminating hostility from the world. So what do you think about torpedoes? Do you think they are a good strategy to get rid of the enemy ships? Which one do you think they'd be more effective against, ships or submarines? Do let your thoughts be expressed down in the comments section and we will meet you again in the next video. Until then, keep liking our videos, hit the subscribe button and also turn on the post notifications to never miss out on anything. We will meet you with another interesting video.